Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a project thing that is making an extractor phone number and email address uh, extractor from a clipboard. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. In this project, we are going to get the text of the clipboard. We're going to find all the phone numbers and email addresses in the text and we're going to paste them on the clipboard. That is going to show our output. So we are going to use two modules, the of course the regular expression model for finding the matchings and we're going to use the paperclip model which is used for you know which is used for uh, copying the clipboard items and extracting it of course. Okay so let's get to our thing. Okay so this is the text which I'm going to consider for you know uh, for extracting emails and phone numbers see you can see over here i have some phone numbers i have some email addresses which it will be extracting okay so let's get into it of course we have the here i have created something like to do lists what i need to do first of all i need to import the paperclip module as well as re module if you have if you don't have this paperclip module on your pc then you can download it from command prompt via googling it how to download paperclip okay or instead if you're using pycharm if you import this you will get uh, something over here like do you want to download or do you want to install paperclip module say install it and you will get it okay within few minutes okay so we have this two very important modules paperclip modules and re module that is for regular expression and i have created something like list what i need exact what i exactly need to do like here we first of all are going to create a regex for phone number then we're going to have a regex for email addresses then we're going to find the matches in clipboard and then we're going to copy the result to the clipboard here these two things are important regarding regular expressions then we have how to find the matches you're going to use find all and stuff and then we will be copying the result to the clipboard okay so now let's get into it first of all i have already written the code for phone number i just uh, overview it because this this is the thing which we have seen in the previous videos also okay so one thing that is to remember is that put particular brackets everywhere to show that this is the whole thing if you don't do it you will get an error or you will uh, get like something separator is not stuff and some okay we will see what if we don't put brackets and what error we get okay so let's get into it so this is a first part which which we have created a regex for phone numbers so phone regex re.compile of course and then what we have here is three quotations and ending three quotations which shows that we're going to have a multi-line and we have written re.verbose over here so that we can say we can we can tell to the re compile compile module uh, or sorry re compile re.compile function that we're going to have a multi-line where you want to ignore spaces in you know new line characters so here the first we have area code but here we have a question mark which, say, which shows that that this this is going to be optional it is whether it will be present or not okay but one thing you can see over here what i have did is backslash d three times here i have used a pipe character then backslash bracket parenthesis and then backslash three times what i mean over here is that it can be a bracket stuff okay do you know uh, do you get it the, the area code can be inside a bracket or it cannot be inside a bracket okay so so hence i have used in or this pipe sorry not or a pipe character over here and then it here i have a question mark which shows that it can be or it can be not so this is the area code then we have a separator this separator can be a space can be a you know this hyphen or it can be a full stop dot so these are the three possibilities for separators so i have used again pipe character for showing these are the possibilities then we have last first three digits th these first oops, sorry these digits are you know backslash d and then we have in curly braces we have three return this can also be written as backslash d backslash d backslash d all these are same but i want to modify it i want to make it better so i have used this way then we have a separator okay again the separator can be a space character a hyphen or a period that is full stop then we have last four digit and similar thing and then we have extension extension can be ext x ext and this can be of two to five characters okay repeated two to five times and then we have verbose which is showing that it is a um, to ignore now moving forward now we're going to create a email regex do you get that you're going to create an email regex so let's see email 
regex you can just keep if as i told you to get something of you know what i have told you and if you have already written the code you can just skip for five minutes or sorry five seconds okay so these are the thing and i'm writing like the second argument as re dot verbose okay and now so now first of all what i'm doing is i will be writing my email address over here okay so this is my email address my email address has three to four things what is it the first is the username which can be what you can see which can be letters okay sorry which are which can be alphabets can be a symbol and can be numbers okay then i have the second thing that is compulsorily only and okay and percent and sorry at the rate symbol and then we have a gmail thing this can be number or this can be a to z characters lowercase uppercase and then we have dot something the dot something can be dot com dot in dot us whatever okay so now let's see the first part is a username part okay so for username part what i'm doing is i'm writing a to z it can be from a to z it can be from a to z okay this can be 0 to 9 as you can see and this can also be full stop a underscore a percent okay a plus and a minus and a minus so these are all the possibilities it can have and it cannot it is not just once but number of times so we have plus over there okay so i write that it is a user name okay so this is what we this is the first part then we have compulsorily and percent so i'm writing and percent and writing a giving a comment and percent not and percent sorry at the rate symbol okay now the the, the next thing is what we have something it can be a uh, let uh, it can be what it can be numbers it can be alphabet characters from a to z a to z and it can also be 0 to sorry 0 to 9 it can also be let's say full stop and hyphen okay but it is not just once it can be multiple times so we are adding plus at the end and then we have let's say this is a domain name okay now the last thing that we have a dot and then something this something can be of almost you know like two to four times okay length of that so let's say what we have is we have compulsorily a dot okay and then we have something this something can be a to z a to z you know and this it, it is it cannot be a number okay this a to z can be of length 2 to 4 very important that you don't put space in between which we have seen in the previous videos like if you put if we have space then we get an error okay in the first video we get this error now moving forward okay so this is our last part and that let's say dot dot something dot something so this is our creating email address it's very simple that we just want to see the possibilities what type of possibilities these particular things can have okay now i have already written the uh, this particular you know uh, this particular code for clipboard text and i'll just explain you so here is the code okay so this is our code so what we have is we have the text whatever the thing that we're going to copy whatever the text that we're going to copy we're going to store it as a string okay in the variable called text okay so we have it is it will get converted into str and then we have our new variable or a list which is matches which is for which is empty at the first and then we append something in the couple of fours in it okay now the first four is for the phone number you can see over here that we are groups in phone regex and we're going to find all so what we're going to do over here is we're going to join all these groups you can see group 1 group 3 group 5 and we have group 8 the first group is for the area code you can understand you can get it the second group is for what the second group is for the the three digit number the fifth group is for the four digit number and then it is the extension okay 
so extension can be of two to five and two to five characters okay so here we have we are joining all those groups within hyphen and then we append all those phone all those phone numbers which satisfies to the match matches list okay and then we have similar for the regex or oh, sorry email regex we're going to find all the all the matches and then we're going to group and append it to group zero append it as group zero in the matches okay so hence we are matching first first we are matching finding all phone num phone number regex and then we are finding all email regex and then we are in a sequence the output is also going to come in a sequence that like first there will be phone numbers and then there will be email addresses okay then there is how do we copy the result to the clipboard and this is how we do it okay if the uh, if there is the length if we uh, if the length of this matches is greater than zero of course okay then we will be joining all that all the matches okay paper clips so we're going to keep take all the we're going to copy every data in the paper clip and we're going to join it in matches in this in, in next in every line and then we're going to print something like copy to the clipboard and then we're going to say backslash n in the next line join all the matches and if we don't get any matched then we're going to say no phone numbers or email addresses on as we have seen uh, in this like we want to display some kind of message if we if no matches were found in the text and that is what we're going to display when no no match, matches are found okay now let us run this everything's feel correct let's see okay we haven't of course we so this condition is checked if we haven't you know copied anything now what if we copy this select or copy and now what if i run it okay there is something missing we just the email is just matching dot 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 so let's see let's check the email part okay we haven't made a bracket as i told you bracket serves a very important role okay we want to match everything which comes inside re.compile we just don't need to uh, match the first thing like over here we everyone might have dots in something like that okay so brackets are very much important let's try it out again let's copy the text once again yes so what we have over here is the extractor which is extracting all the phone numbers as well as all the email addresses in the text that we have copied from the clipboard isn't it amazing your task of two to three hours getting all the phone numbers and email addresses from a web page that you have found is very delayed it's uh, it's compressed the time is compressed to just few seconds okay now you can just copy the stuff and just you know run it you don't need to paste it to another file or something just on a clipboard whatever it is on the clipboard that output is going to come to you okay so this is very much important what you have learned in this particular playlist is that phone numbers uh, email addresses websites different things can be extracted uh, using regular expression so regular expression is a very you know effective and useful method when it's come to matching stuff and substituting stuff okay so this is what regular expressions is but before moving uh, to the next topic i would like to give you a project to try it once you know a strong password detection something like that or you know the similar similar kind of project can be used for finding the url websites with it's beginning with http and https okay secured and not secured kind of websites so build your project it's your task to build your project for finding all the urls that begins with https and https okay like this to make it more understandable what i mean is you h h t t p s and h t t p okay so this uh, this is the two things and the project and the you know the solution or the code the source code for this will be available on my site that is uh, eat sleep code repeat dot blogspot dot com okay you can check that out 
so this is it in the next video let's see what i bring what i comes up with so this is all for regular expression uh, we will see you i'll see you in the next video and we'll come up with more projects and more python and c and c++ topics okay suggest me changes if i'm doing some wrong something wrong comment down all your doubts so that i can reach out to you and don't forget to like share and comment and share it with your friends who want to understand regular expressions because this playlist is might be the best playlist for regular expression on youtube because i have covered everything with a project and given you an assignment for you so that you can work on it try those try this website you know website thing and try it out yourself okay click subscribe so that you never miss any update and never miss any other tutorial or a project work okay you can watch the next video whatever video you can you watch over here and do subscribe please you can get the notes of the full fledged regular expression notes on my website that is easily okay thanks for watching bye